welcome to another coffee and card with Linda from lindaspapercraft.co.uk and uh, this month we are going to be looking using the Alphabest die set and the mini punch um, which literally cuts all the letters out it's fantastic so you don't have to uh, line them up when you're stamping you just have to line them up when you're sticking them on um so really simple card today but i think it packs a punch uh, my team and i were discussing the other week there's a new catalog coming out on the 4th of january and what we were looking for from that new catalog and i said i'm looking for a new home set and then i thought i can make a new home set using these these stamps so i have done that so this is a simple joy fold card so um, and uh, I have snuck in a couple of retired items well the papers called harvest something they're on the clearance rack as I film um, and these are just two little die cut houses from an old set that I've got uh, but you could put anything you want on there um, so uh, let's get started right So here's my packet with everything in. I reuse these for mine. Um, I don't think this is going to last much longer. <laughs> so it's everything out of there. So you've got your two little houses and I've actually included your little heart and star. If you want to use that for something you can do. I've used it on this project or another card. So I'll put those to one side for now. And then we have your envelope. Card blank, I've already scored. You just need to fold it back on itself and burnish it with your bone folder, not your nail, can't find bone folder. Okay, then you've two pieces of Knight of Navy. So one's going to go inside the card and one's going to go on the front of the card. You've got two, piece, three, four pieces of designer series paper, and I've run out of this particular one. Um, but um, so I'm using a different background, but I've still got some of that. Okay, so those are for the two pieces on the front, and that's your inside. Okay, so I'll pop those over there, and then you've two pieces of basic white. Right, now, one of them I've chopped a corner off, that's what you're going to do your letters on, the other one's going to go inside the card. So let's put everything to one side here. I've already got the stamps out that I need, and I'll just show you the way I work on these. Uh, this using alphabets. Um, on this particular one so I've got a D block and that has got all the letters I want on it okay and then I've got a little block block here now that's an A block and that's got the background that I'm going to stamp in crumb cake and then I've got another block block here now I've gone slightly bigger so this is a B block so I can see round where I've stamped the uh, background so I can get the letters better centered okay so we'll start off so I need seven letters so let's get our crumb cake here okay you've plenty of room on your bits of card I think I've given myself a smaller piece than you've got so you do need to leave a bit of a gap obviously because you're punching them out so that is three Four. Five. I was just thinking which way does the punch go? I think I'm all right. Five. <laughs> Six. Seven. And a spare. Ooh. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Just wiped that off. There we go. So we're done with this now. So we're now going to do the letters in Knight of Navy. So in New Home, we've got two E's. So I'm going to start with the E. So a couple of little tips with this stamp set. Normally, I would transfer my stamps onto the back of the case where the pictures are, but on this one I haven't because I, sometimes I need to just think, oh, where is the M? It's there. So I can then position it back on and see that I've taken the M. The other tip is this is the A. I spent ages looking for the A, convinced that that was the G, but it's not. That's the A, the G's over here, so. 
just for when you're looking. <laughs> Sometimes you do spend a little bit of time trying to find your letters. If I was going to take them off, I would arrange them alphabetically. Because that would be easier. Right, okay, so two E's. So I'm just going to position that in the middle of the background. So two E's. And then all the rest I just need one for. So. One M. If you do it this way, you don't have to do it in order. W. I found I've got better at lining these up, although every now and then I do go a bit off. H. And then, so I'm quite happy with those. They look a bit odd because it's not a real word. And there we go. Im W Hon. <laughs> all right, so I'll put all these off to one side because that's all the stamping done for today. And we'll just get our little punch out. So, and you just line it up, check you're happy with it, there we go, and again line it up, check you're happy with it, bunch, nope. So, just chop that there, so we've got... Um, and uh, woo. mind when they go running off because they will because they do and then we've got ah uh, hmm, not quite straight and it's quite it, it, it you don't realize at first when you get this punch it's got quite a lot of detail on the corners you know so it's not just printing out punching out rectangles it's got a little detail on the corner there and then we'll just do this one There we go, so that's all our letters. We didn't need our spare, or we don't need it yet. <laughs> and that's going to go on your snowy tree designer series paper. So I'm going to put the heart on the heart house on the front because that's the loving your new home. So now lots of different ways of uh, lining up these letters so I think I'm going to see if I can eyeball these <laughs> without the aid of a net so are these yes they are so I'm going to put a dimensional on each of the letters and I'm putting it with the straight sides either side roughly in the middle it's my big fingers getting in the way okay. So that's all my letters, so let's get them. Right, so we've got H, O, M, E, N, 
of the U. E, let's get all these the right way around. Okay, so. And basically what I'm going to do first is do home and then I'm going to center my new above it. Okay, so let's start. Let's commit. <laughs> we shall commit to the H. Right. So I'm just going to pop the H there. And then I'm going to put the O next to it with a similar gap. Now, can I do it with fingers or do I need my tweezers, which are not here? Excuse me, others. I think Sydney's been using these to put candles out, so they're all black. So I'm taking that off, so I'm just positioning that next to it just there. And then we're going to take this one. And again, just lining it up similar distance away. And then this one. And again, just by eye, I'm putting that one next to there. It's not perfectly straight, but it's handcrafted. It is not machine made in China. So then I'm going to take the E, because that's the middle letter of the new. And I'm going to put my tweezers at the top here. They're a pain, these tweezers, because you have to squeeze to open them, which feels... It's great, because it holds it for ages. But then you have to remember that to open them, you squeeze them. OK, so I'm going to pop that there. And then the W is going to go to one side. Just there. And the end to the other and we're done okay so I'm happy with the straightness of that just going to do this this way just so that I can get in and line that up each way there we go right so ooh. Yeah, I've gone a bit skew with there, but as I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is something that you've crafted. So I'm quite happy with that. I will show you on one of the weeks. I'm not sure what we've got next week. I'll show you how to do it with Glad Wrap and with post it notes and various different ways of getting your letters just where you want them. Corner. I'm just going to add the little house and then it's just a case once you've done that the hard work's done and you're just going to be building the card. Should put that a bit down I think. I should put that. That's fine. So then that's going on a piece of the Knight of Navy it is. With this being retired paper, that's actually Misty Moonlight, but it goes really well with Knight of Navy, I think. It's always worth checking out the clearance racks. You can get some really good bargains. And when this goes out, there is actually a last chance sale on at, on at Stamping Up. So nip across to my, my website for details. There's some amazing, amazing offers. Hopefully there'll be some left by the time this goes out, because it is going out two days after the sale starts. Uh, and it will be ending on the 4th of January, I think. So if, you, if you're watching it in 2003, on four, 23 even, unfortunately, the sale will have finished. Okay. So that's the piece for the inside. And I'm just sticking another little house on there. Now we'll deal with the base of the card. So you've got three remaining pieces of designer series paper and they literally just fit there. Okay, so 
if you're interested in the card sizes, this is just a normal half sheet of A4 tent fold card. So it's scored at 14.85 and it's scored at 7.4. And these pieces are 10 centimetres deep. That's 7, 7, 14.4. And then these are 11 and a half by 6. And the little pieces are 4 millimetres smaller than that. I need a new glue. It's running out there. there. It's just a nice little border all the way around. On there. And then the other two. I do like it when it's got another piece on here that we've not left that blank. I think it looks much prettier. Obviously on my paper, because it's a square pattern, I don't need to check which way up it goes. On yours you will, because you've got wheat sheaves and daisies all going up. So you need to make sure you've got it on the right way up. And then finally, the front piece of DSP. And then we'll have the Linda's patented way of getting your joy fold without glue on the inside of your card. <laughs> Just took me ages to work out. Right, and lots of glue. A right, number of times I've glued the wrong side. So I'm sure we all have. <laughs> I make these mistakes so you don't have to. So basically I'm going to start on the inside and I'm going to put my piece. And these two pieces are identical so inside so you do need to make sure they line up otherwise you'll be able to see one, the inside one when you close it. Right, so there we go. So let's just pop that on the inside there. And then what I'm going to do is close the card like that. Now I'm going to want my front piece to line up with this. So I know I need some glue on here. Okay, so that's my guide of where to put the glue on the front. So I am just putting a bead of glue all the way down from the top to the bottom there. And then I take this and I know it's going to go on this way. So Flip it that way and you know you're on here. So you know you've got to do it on your left hand side. Okay. And then you line it up with the piece that's going on the inside of the card. Make sure that's lined up. There we go, excuse my head. And there we are. We've got this piece attached to the correct side of the card and no glue <laughs> and it's nice and firmly attached as well because I think sometimes if you just do like the first like the first third of that you're left with a bit that's not really stuck whereas sticking on the base of the card like that means that you have got it firmly stuck. Right so thank you for sticking with me this long. Uh, there's the finished card and uh, I shall see you next week with more Alphabest. Take care. Bye.